On behalf of the Ministry of Education, I invite all children to read a story aloud today. Today's World Read Aloud Day. And I'm going to read a story for you, and I hope that you enjoy hearing it as much as I will enjoy reading it. And the name of the story today is called Anansi and the Pot of Common Sense. Once upon a time, Anansi the Spider-Man collected all the common sense in the world and put it into a large pot. He wanted to keep it all for himself. How powerful and rich I am going to be, Anansi chuckled, rubbing his hands with glee. Everyone will have to come to me for advice, and I will only solve their problems if they pay me handsomely. But first, I must hide my common sense where no one will ever find it. Anansi went up mountains, into caves, and behind waterfalls, looking for the perfect hiding place. Finally, he decided to keep the pot at the top of a very tall tree. Anansi took a length of rope and tied one end to the pot and the other end around his neck. The pot hung down heavily in front of him, resting on his stomach. He stood in front of the tree. It was so tall he could not see the top. Here goes, sighed Anansi, and began to scramble up the trunk, the heavy pot thumping against his stomach. Now Anansi was a good climber, but this was much harder than usual. The pot got in the way, so Anansi's fingers could not get a good grip. Every time he hitched himself higher up with his legs, the heavy pot swung to and fro and dragged him down. All the time, the rope cut into his neck. As he struggled and cursed, he heard ripples of laughter coming from the forest floor. And as he squinted down and saw a little boy grinning up at him. You foolish Spider-Man, the boy giggled. Why do you not make things easier for yourself by hanging the pot behind your back? Anansi could not believe his ears. He thought he had collected all the common sense in the world. And here was a little boy with a big piece of it. In a fury, Anansi grabbed the pot and hurled it as hard as he could. The little boy ran away, chuckling, and the pot smashed into a hundred pieces on the ground. By the time Anansi had clambered down, the wind had blown the common sense away. It was scattered by the breeze all over the world. So because of Anansi's selfishness, all creatures got a little bit of it. We thank Anansi for our common sense today. I hope you enjoyed this story.